Hello and welcome to TVC News. We start the news uh, this hour with reports that the Nigerian High Commissioner to Sierra Leone says the High Commission has been able to galvanize enough support for Nigerians living in the country to give them out of trouble. This effort, he says, have helped build a good image of Nigerians and foster better relations between Nigeria and Sierra Leone. Moyo Thomas reports from Sierra Leone. It is a significant event at the Nigerian High Commission in Sierra Leone. The Nigerian High Commissioner, Habiz Ibrahim Ugbeda, plays host to the chairman of Nigerian Diaspora Commission, Abike W. Erewa, at the High Commission. It is heartwarming to Mrs. W. Erewa to learn that Nigerians are not viewed with suspicion and hate here. The High Commission attributes this to the effort of the High Commission in supporting Nigerians in Sierra Leone. But those that were involved in the, involved in the you know, drug uh, trafficking and some criminal activities, that's where we find it very difficult to go back. But my advice to them, whoever, is that when you come with a clear mind, we are ready for you. But don't come with a dirty mind because we don't want that with us. Because that seriously dent the image of Nigeria in another country. We branded the image of Nigeria here in Sierra Leone. I mean, the few hours we spent talking to people, you've done so much. And then in particular, the Nigerians in prisons, I'm told that you should be double digit, not a single digit, because of your efforts. Also, you visit them, you, you talk to them, and you admonish them. And uh, under you, the number of prisons has fallen. And under you, the more Nigerians that are doing uh, great in businesses, is also very encouraging. Mrs. W. Erewa is also hosted by Nigerians in Sierra Leone and it presents her the opportunity to interact with young Nigerians studying in the country. Of particular interest in the course of her interactions is the emotional story of a 37-year-old Nigerian lady, Fatimata Abiodu Egbeyemi, who is passionate to discover her roots. A fresh-year law student, the little she knows is based on tales she can faintly recollect, having lost her Nigerian father as a young girl. Now she is caught between not being Sierra Leonean enough and not having fully established her identity as a Nigerian. I learned that we are from the ruling house from Abi Okuta. So I am from the Egbeyemi family. Um, my father was here and the elder brother, they were both here. They married and gave birth to plenty of us here. But both of them have has passed away. And they married Sierra Leonean women. So some of us are not able to trace back our family. Not because we don't want to do it, but because we don't have all that, that we're supposed to, to reach them. And we have not financially buoyant to be able to reach them. Because we are passionate about our, our roots. We want to trace back our roots. But sometimes we have fear in us because we don't know what we'll meet there if we decide to go. And some of us have passion. We want to learn. But how can we learn? Even when, because for Sierra Leone, they have a Sierra Leone grant in aid that they do assist students to, to settle their financial in their they are in institutions, but most times, if you even if you apply, you will not be able to get because they will say this person is not a Saga Leonia because her names are preventing us from getting the benefits and opportunities. Abike Dabiri Erewa described her peculiar case as one of the priority areas of the Nigerian Diaspora Commission and promised to ensure she gets the help in order to be identified as a true Nigerian she is. That's why it's good to engage with our Nigerians all over. This, the case of Fatima, we have discovered here, along with others, I mean, she was born here, her parents are dead, they are Nigerians and all that, but she, she, she doesn't belong here. Either. So we're going to arrange for Fatima, who really wants to come to Nigeria, has never been to Nigeria, to come with some of those we've met here, and then we'll get them to Nigeria and um, uh, connect them with their roots back in Nigeria. And I'm sure she'll be very happy and she won't be crying that time. Promise me, you're going to be laughing there. So we're going to make that happen. The High Commission in his own little resources has been able to help one of two of them in 
settlement of um, some certain bills, and we'll continue to do that. But the most important thing is that they now have a sense of belonging. The smile on her face afterwards is a testament to the importance of not neglecting any Nigerian citizen wherever they may find themselves. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Freetown, Sierra Leone.